Good morning. I'm here at the Lawn Lake Trailhead located inside Rocky Mountain National Park. And today I'm going to go for Mount Chiquita. According to the book, it's six miles out with over a 4,500 foot elevation gain. Official start time, 5.22. That's not looking good. That is not what I was wanting. I'm hoping these clouds are gonna dissipate and we're gonna get that sunny day like the weather was talking about. But so far, I'm feeling pretty good. I just gotta knock out this next two and a half miles or so on the Ypsilon Lake Trail. And I need to take it up to the high point just before Chipmunk Lake. And then from there, I'm gonna split off the trail and start bushwhacking the remaining 2,000 feet up to the summit. And in 40 minutes, I'm up here to the trail split. I'm gonna stay to the left and jump on the Ypsilon Lake Trail. And just past the trail split is the Roaring River. This is the gas price trail. This thing goes up a lot and then it'll flatten out for a little bit and then it'll go up and then flatten out a little bit. But ultimately you're going up the entire time just like gas prices. It's like you're starting out at $1.88 a gallon and then like two years later, you're at $4.59 a gallon. That wind is whipping up there. I was kind of worried about that. The weather said it was gonna be like 18 to 20 miles per hour down in Estes Park, which means it's probably gonna be like double that up on the mountains. I've been hiking for about an hour and 45 minutes. I'm at about 10,500. So I'm looking at another half mile and another 200 vertical foot gain up to where I'm gonna split off. I'm almost up there. And this hasn't been too bad. I've knocked out all the trail portion here in about two hours. It is 722 on the nose, which means that it has taken me two hours to get up here. This is going to be the high point along the Ypsilon Lake Trail. And from here, I'm going to split off and start bushwhacking through the trees and on up the east slope to the summit of Mount Chiquita. Hopefully, I don't know, that wind is hammering up there. That might be a problem. It's a little nasty through here. There are a few down trees you have to navigate. A few little patches of snow. Now it looks like it's starting to open up a little bit up here. Finally, and here comes the wind. Well, dang, I was not anticipating this. I'm going the right way because there's a giant Karen right there. This is beautiful right here. And you can see 
Chipmunk Lake, way down there. So that's roughly how far I have come up through the trees. And then looking over in this direction, you've got Fairchild Mountain on the left and Mummy Mountain on the right. You can see the reflection of Chipmunk Lake. That's Bighorn Mountain behind it. Deer Mountain down low. And then Twin Sisters sticking up to the right. All right, I think I have made it past this little snowy section and I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, baby, I can hike up this all day long. Well, not all day long, maybe for a few hours, and then I'm gonna get tired and die. finally getting a good view of Ypsilon Lake and you can see the wind blowing the water around down there. Wow, it's really not too windy where I'm at. I'm hoping it stays like this. And what I want to do next is aim for this high point right up here. And I want to stay to the left of it. I think I'm going to get blasted by that wind as soon as I come over this high point. Let's see what we got for a view. That's what I got left. Holy crap. Well guys, this might be the end of the road for real this time. That wind is whipping behind me. I mean, I'm hiding behind these rocks right now, but as soon as I jump onto the other side of them, there's no escaping the wind. And the entire rest of the way is totally exposed. Oh man, it really doesn't look that bad either. But I don't want to end up like Alan Arnett and get blown off the rocks. So what I'm thinking about trying instead is going down right here and then hooking it to the left and seeing if I can work it over to Chiquita Lake. And then from Chiquita Lake, I'm gonna to have to bushwhack it down to Ypsilon Lake where I will then pick up the trail, hike it back up the ridge past Chipmunk Lake, and then back down. This is just behind where I was sitting, and I'm at an elevation of about 11,975. That's looking over to Chiquita on the right, and Chapin on the left.
Pirates looking over to Long's Peak, Estes Cone, and Twin Sisters. And that wind is whipping. Oh my goodness. I popped my head over the rocks to get a view over to the west over there. And I about got blown off the thing. Wow, that wind is really bad. Well guys, I'm getting smashed up here. So I'm gonna start heading down and hopefully that'll get me out of this wind. I'm working it down the slope. I'm trying to make it down to this little grassy part. Looks like it kind of flattens out a little bit. And then I'm gonna hook it over to the left and see if I can angle it down to the lake. I think the lake is gonna be right around the corner there, but the wind is really bad on this northern side. I am getting smashed right now. I've been working my way over. I'm getting hammered by the wind. I have come around the slope and the further I come in this direction, the windier it is. I'm right at 11,600, which is exactly where I want to be. And I want to maintain this elevation and take it around the side of the slope over there and then drop it down about 150 feet to the lake. And that's going to be Chiquita Lake way over there. That looks pretty far away. And then if I make it over there, I've got to descend down through the snow. I think I'm going to make it over to Chiquita Lake. I'm getting pretty close. The wind is just really bad on this side. Really bad. right over the edge there. And we're gonna make it. I'm sitting just above Chiquita Lake. It's about 10.50 right now. I probably got up here about 10 minutes ago or so. So it took me about five hours and 20 minutes to get up here via my discombobulated route. Well guys, it's about 11.20. And I've been sitting up here in my spot for 45 minutes or so. But it's starting to get a little late. And I've got a five and a half mile hike back. So it's time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. Let's take it on back. I'm not out of the woods yet. I've still got to drop it down a thousand vertical feet 
to Ypsilon Lake. Ah, this wind sucks. I think I remember this. I think we have to cut it across the front of the bushes right here and then take it down that little grassy hill. That's looking up at Ypsilon Mountain. It looks like I am gonna have some snow to go through for sure. That's where I came across earlier and dropped it down to the lake. I do not recommend that. This next part might get a little tricky, but if I remember it correctly, I need to go out just to the left of that big rock down there. I don't care if I have to crawl through that snow. This is the only way out of here. I gotta deal with it. Ah, this really isn't so bad. Nice and soft. This snow is not bad. It's pretty firm. All right. Looks like I've got another big snow section here and there's no avoiding this one. But really, this isn't too bad at all. I mean, I'm walking right over the top of this snow. It's actually kind of nice. snow. I think this is going to be pretty short-lived though. I see grass out here in front of me. I see this little waterfall over here. This is beautiful up here. Super remote too. I have not seen one other hiker all day. It's CCY or die at this point. It's the CCY lake hike. Uh, this is tiring. I'm sitting here at the Spectacle Lakes Junction under this big giant tree, taking a quick three minute break because that was rough. But right here is how you get up to Spectacle Lakes. You can see the first Karen right there. Just hike it on up. There's a pretty nice social trail dug in up here. It's pretty easy to follow.
and I am down to Ypsilon Lake. Hallelujah. I was taking a quick five minute break at Ypsilon Lake, but the flies found me. I don't know how, but they found me. That's a little back to the future humor. I'm so happy to be back on the main trail. I don't even care that it's gonna go uphill for a half mile. And it looks like it's gonna go through the snow. I don't even care. I'm back on the trail. I haven't seen this thing since 7.30 this morning. And this is the final lake, Chipmunk Lake. And this one is really pretty. I think this is one of the most underrated little lakes in Rocky Mountain National Park. Beautiful. I'm gonna find a good little spot here next to Chipmunk Lake and take my last break. I need to eat some food. And look at these views. The bugs out here today are atrocious. So I gotta keep it moving. I'm jumping back on the trail. I'm gonna take it down. This has gotta be like the last snow pile. This is gonna be the very last uphill section. Just up here is where I split off this morning. And once I get back up there, I will have completed the loop. And the rest of it is all downhill. I'm back to the tree. And this is where I split off this morning. All right. This, compared to the terrain that I've been on for the past five and a half hours, seems like a cakewalk. What a great day of hiking. I know I didn't get to the summit of Chiquita like I had hoped to, but I know I can do that some other day. That is totally within my reach. I just need to not have 60 mile per hour winds. I had to take one more quick five minute break. It's just now 2.22. So I've hit the nine hour mark out here and I am feeling it. I am tired. Almost back. The trailhead is just down there below me. It's just now 2.57, which means I've been out here for nine hours and 35 minutes total. I'm not even sure what the times were. I was just out here hiking around. Super fun day. Hope you enjoyed the hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.